This is Raptor News. So today we're going to be talking about mercy. I'm going to do it a little different. Instead of putting a bunch of verses, you know, proving to you that I'm telling you the truth from the scriptures, I'll just put one and then we'll talk about other things and you just trust in what I'm saying or you don't. So we're going to go with Psalms 18:25 with the merciful thou which is God will show himself merciful and with an upright man thou who is God will show himself upright merciful de definition is lenient compassion and pitying God made the world in balance meaning that whatever you put out it get, it comes back to you as a man so uh, so shall he reap he who leads into captivity goes into captivity you you live by the sword you die by the sword and so on and so forth if you go to Matthew 7 1 it's going to tell you basically however you judge you're going to be judged and whatever measure you met in that judgment that's what's going to be measured back to you and so we are learning that there is a balance system and God gives you what you can give so if you put something negative into the world that's what you're going to get out if you're putting something positive into this world that's what you're going to get out a lot of people think they can do negative mean shit and then they ain't going to get it out lately I have been dealing with sociopaths I have been dealing with people who don't got an understanding of, of how other people feel they just think that they could do whatever they want to to people and get away with it. You know, and there is no consequences and repercussions for their actions. You know, there are consequences for everybody's actions. So, as you have done, the Bible says it all the way through it, so shall it be done to you. But then there's the lie that says you're going to be saved by the blood of Jesus in grace. It's a filthy ass damn lie. And you should never believe no crap like that. It's an infiltration to try to give you an easy way. Look at Adam and Eve. They didn't get no grace. Look at Satan. He didn't get no mercy and grace. Look at the children of Israel. They never got any mercy and grace. We went through hell. And everybody else going to get a break now. And Malachi 3 says God don't change. You ain't getting no break. And I'm going to tell you something about this mercy. It, it, it sounds good. So all I have to do is show people mercy. And then I get mercy. Yeah. But it's not an easy thing to do. How you show people mercy. And grace. And things like that. It's when they do something to you. You have the ability to retaliate back on them. Say something back. And, and everything else. And you don't do anything. You said you know what. You did a crime. And I'm not going to even make you pay for it. That is what showing mercy is. It is lenient, compassion, pitying, and it also is forgiving and overlooking. And I say it again because I ran out of room. Forgiving and overlooking is what merciful is. And most people can't forgive nobody or overlook anybody. And so the Bible says, forgive so that you be forgiven. Be merciful. And then God will show himself merciful. Be upright and God will be straight with you. You know, it's a balance. Live by this word, then you're going to die by it. You know, take into captivity, then you're going to go. Sow and then you're going to reap. You know, judge and you're going to be judged. Condemn, you're going to be condemned. And we should know that ain't no way in the world grace is going to save nobody. And I'm going to say it again. The hardest thing in the world is when someone do some shit to you, just let it go. And God is giving you that grace to let it go. So when you meet him on the day of judgment, he will let your crap go. And that is what we're reading in Psalm 825. You know, when you're dealing with God on that day. The more people you can show mercy to and let go of what they do, the more people... Um, and the more your chance is of getting into the kingdom and then watch this and on the day the meteorites and hailstones brimstones fire is coming down from from the heavens God can be lenient compassionate 
and pity you. But if you can't do nothing for his creation, and he said, how can you say you love God when you don't love the brother that you see? How can you ask for forgiveness when you can't forgive? How can you cry to God for mercy when you can't show mercy? God is only going to give a man and a woman what they earn. And I am speaking dynamically 100% the truth. You know, and um, I've been trying to practice that in my life. And, and, and I've been trying to teach my family and everybody I teach to practice that. Love and mercy and kindness and, and, and fruits of the spirit. Which there is no law for that. There is no law for it. You know. And so you're going to get off. If you can let somebody else off the hook. And I'm throwing you a bone. You can get off the punishments. If you can just not punish yourself. You can get off the judgment. If you won't judge nobody. Judge and you will not be judged. I mean don't judge and you won't be judged. Judge and you will be judged by what measure you judge so if you don't let nobody escape with nothing everybody must pay on that damn day I guarantee you you the hellfire but if you can love people and let go of stuff I'm telling you the truth nobody's going to get away with nothing everybody's going to pay you back for whatever they owe you but if you can be merciful and compassionate and graceful the most high God can be that way with you and he is going to be that way because every word of God is a promise to you. And then, you know, I like what Deshaun and James Seeky is doing over there. Speaking love. So many people hate. And I'm tired of haters. I'm tired of sociopaths. I'm tired of people who don't care about people. I'm tired of people who ain't merciful, who ain't lenient. And I'm tired of them devils. And you should be too. It is time to let that go. And for us who love each other, why don't we just do it and fuck the rest of them? This is Rap the Nose.